And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. We're in store for a major and league now, debut of this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career Jay. he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around him. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. So just about set now, and on the hill, Alec Manoa. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but... I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss. Get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. First pitch, 707. Line drive. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Now up for Tampa Bay, Richie Palacios. He really needs to start making more contact. Striking out nearly twice in each of the last five games. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And a foul ball. Only two now. Oh. Just missed. It's a good take. Runner at second, nobody out. And down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Yandy Diaz now. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Swings through that one for strike one. One strike. one now crushed left center field this one's deep forget it a two run homer home run number 20 on the year the Rays strike first it's two nothing Chris he's homered in back to back games now yep seeing the ball well and he's got his timing locked in he's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Isaac Paredes now. Too much swing and miss in his at-bats recently. Almost two strikeouts per game over his last ten. Whoa. That one almost got him. Manoa, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. One down, base is empty. That one's in there. And the count one and one. Righty to the plate. Ground ball, left side. Sends it to first. And now two gone. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Brandon Lau. 
really an essential part of this lineup. Top five in slugging in the American League right now. He's putting up some pretty big power numbers, and when you can get that kind of production out of a player like this, tell you what, it's only going to make the team better as a whole. Brandon Lau in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Two runs across in the inning here in game one of this three game set. That one finds the zone. 0 oh, 2 now. Right hander kicks, deals. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. The Rays with a two run homer. It's now a 2 0 ball game. Back now in Toronto and towing the slab in this one Shane McClanahan. What do you have on him. Well he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season. I mean coming in guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s. So many times there's some bad luck but then also we there's just a little a miss game. here or a little miss the there game. that changes the outcome Kevin. of the at bat. We'll see if he can Kiermaier. be consistent and make adjustments oh. quickly oh. in this one. Kevin Kiermaier stands in now looks at that one inside. On the ground, right side. Over to Diaz. One up, one down. Batting second. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. Some power, but low on base and ranking towards the bottom in runs per game. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slug and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Number 36. Batting with one down, takes a strike. That's in there, and that is strike two. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a hey, tough no. pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. Diaz takes not it himself. Two up, two down. Oh. Good fade and sinking action of that yeah. changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Swing and a miss. Well, he looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. Two out spaces empty. Right through there. Got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. One, two, three go to Blue Jays. They trail it here, two nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning set to go. And now it's Jose Siri. Manoa back to work. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Pitch. Struck him out looking. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0 2 count just to pour it back. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. Larry Bullard, okay. our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And the righty deals. Swing and a drive, deep right field. 
That one back there. And out of here. Home run number five on the season, and they add on. It's 3 nothing. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. And here's the catcher, Rene Pinto. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Hey. Fastball for a strike. No ball. One, one. one strike. Up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Gets the catcher by a step. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. Called strike right there. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. Kiermaier moving under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3-0. And we're back, Lead ready to go for the last auto. half of the inning. The and the batter lead. now, George Springer. Springer. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. McClanahan, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a slider. Under it. And it's caught for the out. Batting fifth, the catcher. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. And that one is in the dirt. And that's ball one. And that's in the dirt. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And another ball. The Blue Jays trailing by three. Bottom half of inning number two. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one, but safe at first, it's a fielder's choice. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. So digging in, Spencer Horowitz. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Lau sends it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We head on now. Three, and the Jays nothing. Back here at Rogers Center, onto the third inning. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. And here it comes. And delivers outside. Lowe, 26 years old. He's been on a terrific run at the plate. Hitting over 350 in his last 10. Dives and he can't hang on. 
He decides to eat it, and the defense comes away with nothing. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Man at first, and stepping in for the Rays, Richie Palacios. And a pitch. Strike two. And the right hander deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Low the board here at first with nobody out. Swing and a high fly ball to left. In position. And there's one away. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. He's already homered here in this one. One ball. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Roll to short, could be two. Not in time, he legs it out. Now that oh, that was a great chance to turn two with the 6-4-3 right there, but the feed to second, maybe the most important part of starting that double play, just didn't get it right right there. And these players work on it a lot during batting practice, and if that feed's not on point, very difficult for the second baseman to make the turn. Here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's down and away. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. Martinez. Off balance yeah. feed, there's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. So it's no runs on one base hit, two errors, and one left on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Rays three, and the Jays nothing. As we go to the last of the third, Kevin Biggio up to the plate. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one down the line, and that's just foul. They'll say, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose fathers also played the majors. Diaz takes it to the bag, one up, one down. Well, he didn't recognize the change up earlier enough. Got Orel out in front Vegas. a little bit, rolled over on it, and Martinez. beat it into the ground. At the play, Orelvis Martinez trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Oh. And that's in there for strike one. I can only imagine the comfort level of being in the ballpark. For those kids who are fortunate Hi. enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues, oh, them being on the baseball field, for some it's pressure. For them, they feel that they are right at home. A stock center field. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. For Elvis Martinez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Kiermaier in the box now. No balls and a strike. Oh. 
Swings through that one for strike two. Man at first, one away. Hit on the ground, might be two. Lau to second, throw to first, but he beat it. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter. He's over for one. There goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. No throw, he's in there safely. Two outs. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. One left for Toronto. They trail in this one, three nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now it's Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau. Manoa back to work. That one lifted to left. Varsho hauls it in for the out. What a way. Almost a loud start to the now inning that, on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that Jose one back, no doubt. Siri. So up next, Jose Siri struck out looking his first time. There's the strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground. And it stays fair. There's nothing cheap about the, the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's going to be Taylor Walls. wanted one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover. Something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around third. He scores and it's 4 nothing. Comes through with the RBI. Got a fastball middle of the plate. Jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Here's the catcher to hit, Rene Pinto. He's over one. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Come on. One strike. Man at second. Fought off foul. The 2 And there's a ball. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Trevor Richards up and throwing. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. A Rosarena, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. That one finds the zone, and a count is 0-2. Man on second, two down. Swing and a ground ball. Biggio to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand.
Rays get an RBI double. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Tampa Bay Rays baseball on the show, Florida. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four. And the batter down. Bo Bichette. The wind of the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Popped up. Diaz moves under it. Makes the catch for the out. The right fielder, number four, Joel. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Springer was part of a really good draft class in 2011, Boo. 12 of the top 20 picks became MLB All-Stars. Few position players went ahead of Springer in that draft, including Anthony Rendon going sixth, and then Francisco Lindor and Javi Baez went back-to-back -back with picks eight and nine. And the 0-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. To third, Paredes. Throws across the diamond. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. He reached out a walk his first time. In there at the knees. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Yeah. And the Blue Jays go down 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Back now in Toronto. Top five, John Shami with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Josh Lowe. The right-hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Inside, almost got him. Missed with a changeup, two and two. Left field, Varsho sizing this one up, drops into the glove, and there's one down. Now batter, the center fielder. Richie, Richie Palacios now at the plate. Palacios. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Ball. Just Inside. missed. Good Ball. eye in that spot. And he deals. And it's fouled away. One down, base is empty. Okay. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's three and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. That one drilled left field. Varsho going back. And he brings it in on the warning track. Now back, the first base, Yandy. 
Two outs, base is empty. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. He's already homered in this game. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That's as far as Alec Mendoa will go, and it's going to be a start that he'd like to get a redo on, not his best. Back with a new arm in a minute. New pitcher now for the Jays, Trevor Richards. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Runner at first with two away. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Right down to shoot, going one. Diaz leads off first with two down to the inning. Two outs. And yeah, that's outside. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. This one high in the air to left center. Varsho racing over to make the catch. The Rays strand just the one, but they lead it four to nothing. We head to the bottom Lita. of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, no Dalton left fielder. Varsho. Okay. A wind in the pitch. Varsho. That one finds the corner. 0-1. Well, these Blue Jays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He shoots one out to right. His 12th of the season, and they're chipping away. It's 4-1. Well, there goes the shutout, just like that. They're still behind, but this is a start. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now for the Jays, Spencer Horowitz. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Palacios makes the grab one down. The batter, number eight, second baseman. And next Kevin. for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. Biggio rounded out his first time. And that one a little below the knees. And that's ball one. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. This guy who grew up in big league clubhouses. Got to be a nice feeling, Siggy, when your father played in the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom. The Jays trailing by three. Last half of inning number five. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw is high and over his head. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. And there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about now 10 minutes of balls fielder. in the gaps. Never. They practice this, and when the Kiermaier. game comes, they make the play perfectly. Kiermaier stands in now and watches strike one. One run across in the frame so far here in game one of this three-game set. 
Swings right. through that one. It's a strikeout. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Top six. Lau at the plate. Lau measures 5 feet 10 inches, 29 years old, and he was a third-round pick oh, no, no. back in 2015. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Tim Meza, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Garcia also throwing. The pitch. Right, There's move. a strike. Out towards right center field. Kiermaier moving under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Up next for Tampa Bay, the designated hitter, Jose. And now the DH, Jose Siri, one for two. That one's in there. Strike one. He must have been one looking strike. for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. And a swing and a miss there. Oh, Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. One that ball. misses the one zone. Strike. Now one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following oh, pitch to help you get that out. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit no, the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And stepping in for the Rays, Taylor Walls. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. Next hey, offering please. is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Two down, nobody on. Got him swinging. <laughs> down in order, go the Rays. But they lead it 4-1. to one. Well, we go bottom six. Now the number two hitter, number 36. And there's the strike. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. That's a laser base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. That one fouled off. The Blue Jays trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Oh, and two now. Fights it off. He'll see another. Now one away. The right fielder, number four. And the batter is George Springer. George. Springer plays an important Springer. role for this team in the clubhouse, Boog. I mean, he can hit home runs, which is great, but he also brings a lot to the club away from the field, too. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Close, but called a ball. One one. Ball one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. That's in for a strike at 95, and the count one and two. On the ground left side, six, four. Oh. 
three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full. It's the Rays four, and the Blue Jays one. Top of inning number seven. Here's the catcher, Rene Pinto. Rene Pinto. The pitch. That one missed. One ball, no strike. Wouldn't chase that time. Him to chase after that one. Two, two. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Rosarena stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. One down, base is empty. Bounced out to short. Bichette over to first and two away to start the seventh. Now batting right fielder Josh Lowe. So the batting order turns over, and now the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Ball. First pitch misses. One ball, no strike. And no, that's too that's high. Ball. Two balls, no strike. That one finds the zone, and it's two and one now. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for right. one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Rolled slowly to first. Horowitz. He'll do it himself. Right. Rays retired in order. Three up, three down for him there. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Rays four and the Blue. Set for the last Leading half of the seven. The Here's the Toronto catcher, the catcher. Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Kicks and deals. Oh. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. They're painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. He's been swinging it really well lately. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now it's Dalton Varsho. First pitch Whoa, just misses. One and oh. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. Foul ball there. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that one finds its way through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the, the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now let's see if they can string something together. Make it a little more interesting. Horowitz can't hold up, and that's a strike.
And fouled off. With the tying run at the plate, here the bottom of the seventh. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Line drive, caught! It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Martinez in the box now, takes strike one. First and second, two down. Here in game one of this three-game set. Comes up empty, that's strike two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. That one hit to right. Low grabs it on the run. Blue Jays leave a pair, and they trail it 4-1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jimmy Garcia. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's the center fielder, Richie Palacios. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. And the pitch. And there's the strike. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. Yeah. One away on the strikeout. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way. And then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye. And it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. So digging in, Yandy Diaz. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. Right. Swing and a miss, and he chases that Double. one in the dirt. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tim Meza preparing to come on if needed. Wouldn't one chase ball, that time. Strike. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now here is Isak Paredes. You'll one. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Diaz over at first with one away. That's to third. Martinez. Oh. One at second. On to first. Double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rays four and the Blue Jays one. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now it's going to be Kevin Kiermaier. Kevin. McClanahan back to work. Ball one there. McClanahan. Into his eighth inning of work, Singy, he's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Tosses to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Next is the designated hitter. And that one hammered back there. And forget it. 
That one felt good. It's 4-2. This crowd is on fire right now. They're going nuts thanks to that home run. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay now it's the shortstop bulbous shed pitch in the dirt and it's one to know right through there for a strike That one ripped. Way back there. And it's gone. They go back to back. His 16th homer of the year. It's 4-3. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Here's George Springer. Out to center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two away. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. Fouled off. He was late. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Misses off the plate, and now it's even one and one. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Rogers we Center. We go to the ninth. The Here's baseman. the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Lau. The pitch. Garcia, 33 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. At the belt and fires. And that's downstairs and outside. One and one. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Two one now. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles yep. it himself for the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Jose, Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. Siri. One for three. And that clips the inside corner. Oh, one. Way Ooh. out front for strike two. No well, you got the strike. hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Taylor Walls. And first offering is fouled off. One run game here in the top of the ninth. There's the swing of the miss. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And he makes the catch. 
And that is that. So they go quietly there. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Rays four and the Blue Jays three. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Pete Fairbanks. Now this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Varsho at the plate now. That's ball one. Late on that fastball. One run game, bottom nine. And a base hit up the middle. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So up next for Toronto, Spencer Horowitz puts a bunt down. Diaz, they put the tag on him and he gets the job done. Up next to the Blue Jays, the second baseman, Kevin Biggio. He's two outs away. Now it's the second baseman, Kevin Biggio. Oh. And that one clips the corner. Oh, he doesn't get the call. One and one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third on his way to the plate. To the plate, yeah, and he's yeah, out. He's Man, that's a play we may look back on when this one's over and wonder what if they would have held him. Can't blame him for trying to tie it up late in this ball game, but when you lose a huge run like that that's only 90 feet away, man, it's a tough one to swallow if they don't pull out the W. So they're down to their final out. And now for the Jays, or Elvis Martinez gets the call. Strike one. But with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Fairbanks is just one strike away. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Another outing, another save. That's his 20th of the season, and this was a good example of why they rely on him so heavily in these close games. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays, four runs, 